ओके सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन नमस्ते टू ऑल यू आर वेलकम इन दिस मॉर्निंग सेशन वी आर वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग एक्सरसाइज टू एंड वाइल प्रैक्टिसिंग दिस एक्सरसाइज टू वी हैव एक्सरसाइज वन इन द बैकग्राउंड सो लेट मी ब्रीफ स्टेप वन टू फोर सो इन एक्सरसाइज टू वी आर ट्राइंग टू ऑब्जर्व द बॉडी observe the self and observe the interaction between the self and the body so we have talked about step 1 to 4 so in few minutes i will brief all these steps and then we will start with your observation so in step 1 we are trying to observe the self as a reality and the body as a reality so self exist self is a reality self is a unit conscious unit and it exist because i can observe activities going on in the self directly so we have potential to observe this consciousness directly and whenever we observe these activities activities of desire thought expectations then we can say that yes i exist consciousness exist because i am able to see activities going on in my consciousness so on the basis of observation i can see this that yes i exist similarly when we observe body we can observe many physiochemical activities going on in the body on the basis of that we can say the body also exist because many sensations are going on in the body and i can see it i can see it directly so i am able to see myself consciousness i am able to see body in terms of activities that's why we can say these are two distinct realities and we have seen it because we are able to see the activities so this first step of exercise 2 is very important so don't assume it don't conclude it just observe it and when you will see the both realities then you will get authentication in yourself that i have seen both the realities so once i am able to see that the consciousness exist the body exist then we can observe the transaction between the two so one is conscious unit another is material unit and transaction or interaction is taking place between the two so now in step 2 we are trying to see how this transaction taking place between the two so in this exercise 2 uh, step 2 we can see we can observe that i give instruction to the body and i am with many choices whether to give instruction or not to give instructions so whenever i think it is important for me to express outside then i instruct my body whenever i think it is important to express my feelings like feeling of care feeling of respect etc then i instruct my body to express my feeling whenever i think i want to go from one place to another place i instruct my body so whatever i give instruction to my body the body follows so whenever i say get up the body gets up when i say walk body walks so i am giving instruction to my body whenever i think it is important to give instruction so this instruction instructions is in the form of information similarly on the basis of events taking place in the body sensations are taking place and i am not bound to read those all sensations happening in the body i read those sensations that i consider to be important i taste the sensation with my decision then i read it so many sensations are going on in my body but i read only those sensations which i think it is important to read so sensation is also an information some activities taking place activities happening in the body 
and I read those sensations. And this sensation is also an information. So we can say that only information is being exchanged between the self and the body. So the interaction between the self and the body is only in the form of information, not of any physiochemical things. Continuously. We have to observe it continuously, how the transaction is taking place between me and the body. You have to observe, we have to observe whether it is true or not that I am giving instruction to the body. Body is not capable to take decision by itself. It is me who take decision and body acts accordingly. Activities are going on in the body, but in ability of giving instruction lies only in the consciousness. So this we have to observe. So while doing this, these steps, we have to take care whether we are observing it or not. So if you are observing it, you will be aware of each interaction of yours, which you give to the body. So many times, unconsciously, we are giving instruction to the body. If we are aware the interaction between me and the body, then we can eliminate those instructions that we are giving to the body unconsciously. Suppose, for example, a person sitting on the chair, you will generally see that many persons, while sitting, they move their legs, they change their posture frequently, they move their, keep moving their hand, legs, etc. And it is not important at that time to give instruction to the body, but we keep involved to the body unnecessarily because I am not aware that I am giving instructions. So, if we are aware that board decisions are given by me, decisions are taking place in me, and once I decide, then I instruct my body, then we can filter those unnecessary instructions that I keep giving to my body. So we have to all observe all those instructions that I am giving to the body. So if it is necessary to give instruction, I will give. If it is not necessary to involve my body, I will not involve my body. I will do something in my consciousness. I will work for my understanding in my consciousness, my feeling in my conscious, consciousness. So in that sense, this step is very important. Now, you can observe this time also. Whenever you change your posture, whenever you pick up your mobile, whenever you put your mobile, what is the position of your leg? All these things you can observe and ask yourself. Am I giving instruction to the body consciously with awareness? And if I am giving instruction with the awareness, is it important to give so many instruction to the body? So all this we can observe during this session also. So as a result of step two, we will be able to see that the interaction between the self and the body is only in the form of information. There is no physiochemical things is being exchanged between me and the body, only the information. So this is the outcome of step two. And so once you are able to see that only information is exchanging between me and the body, then we can observe who is decision maker? Who is deciding to give instruction, not to give instruction to the body? Who is deciding to read a specific sensation from the body? Who is deciding to read this particular such sensation and ignore other sensations happening in the body? Is it the self or the body? So with observation, we will find out that I am the one who decides to give instruction to the body. I am the one who decides to read a specific sensation from the body. So many sensations are going on in my body, but I am not reading all those sensations. I decide to read some specific sensation from the body. For example, you are listening this session, 
a fan is moving in your room and with this interaction of fan many sensations are taking place in your body sometimes you decide to listen the session sometimes you decide to read the sensation of the body and once you read decide to read the sensation of the body you start handling that sensation something is important going on in this session which you think it is very important to you to listen then you that time you ignore the sensations happening in the body you start listening with a focus and when you start listening with attention with focus at that time you will observe that you are not aware what is happening at at the level of body what sensations are happening at the level of body because you are listening something important so this is my decision whether to listen the session whether to listen the sensation whether to read the sensation happening in the body so decision is mine so i interact with the body as and when i require i interact with the body from time to time not continuously similarly we can see that body acts according to the instructions that i give it i use the body as per my decision i use the body as an instrument so if we are able to see all these steps then we can say that i am observer i am doer and i am enjoyer experiencer so it is very important to see myself ourself as a observer doer and enjoyer so i am seer i am observer because i decide to observe so i start observing i may observe myself my consciousness i may observe sensations happening in the body so it is it is my choice to observe or not to observe so in that sense we can say that i am the observer and i use the body as an instrument while observing i decide to give some instruction to the body in that sense i am doer also and once i decide i experience happiness and unhappiness of my decisions in that sense i am the enjoyer so i am observer doer and enjoyer and i am using this body as an instrument only so it is important to note here that are we aware that we are using this body as an instrument or we are using this body as a source of happiness so are we aware of this so if we are using this body as a source of happiness we will try to ensure a favorable sensation in the body a favorable environment so that my body feels comfortable but i am using this body as an instrument then i will use this body for my participation to share information with others to express my feelings so this is important for us to note here that are we using my body our body as an instrument or am i using my body as a source of happiness so this we can observe here that i am observer doer see a doer and enjoyer and this body is my instrument and i am ensuring that i am using my body as an instrument not as a source of happiness so this we have to observe with this we discussed step 4 and step 4 we are trying to observe the self and the body we are trying to observe sensations taking place in the body and while observing any sensation we are trying to see am i the sensation am i in the sensation or am i at a distance from the sensation or am i separate from the sensation so this we have to observe each time every moment so as a result you will find out that i am not the sensation i am not in the sensation i am separate from the sensation so this step 4 is very important step if we observe this step 4 time to time then we will be able to see that i am not a physiochemical thing i am not the body 
I am consciousness with the potential to read my sensation. I am not bound to read my sensation of the body. I am with choices to read my sensation. So this step four is very important step. And with this step four, we will be knowing that I am separate from the body. I am not the body. I am consciousness with many choices. So this is all about step 1 to 4. So if there is any sharing of you, you can share. If there is any question, we, you may ask. Then we will move towards step 5. Okay, so we have Namaste. Yeah, yeah, namaste, Namaste, Sabiko. Yeah, uh, Bhaiya, this is very uh, really important step, step number four. I am not in sensation. I am not the sensation. I am different from the sensation. But Bhaiya, now you have told that the body is an instrument. That is what you have told. But we are not using the body for the happiness. This uh, sentence is a little bit of doubt. Hai ki, for example, abhi, I am hungry in the morning. Or I need tea coffee, whatever it is. So this is my sensation from the body. Se लेकिन जब तक मुझे वो मिलेगा नहीं चाहे कॉफी है जो भी है या फिर अपना बेस्ट एग्जांपल रसगुल्ला का तो वो हम अगर मुंह में डालते हैं तो वो तो बॉडी का काम है लेकिन जब उसका टेस्ट लेना है उसको एंजॉय करना है वो तो सेल्फ करता है लेकिन लेकिन अगर ये बॉडी नहीं होती तो हाउ द सेल्फ वुड हैव एंजॉयड यहां पर थोड़ा सा मुझे डाउट है आईडिया इज वेरी क्लियर बॉडी इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट लेकिन ये इंस्ट्रूमेंट अगर नहीं है तो क्या सेल्फ हैप्पी हो सकता है क्या जी प्लीज थैंक यू Yes, but yeah. So the question is very simple. Yeah. That can I be happy if body is not there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. G. Right. So you ask yourself, G. where does your happiness lies? In your consciousness or any sensations of the body? So what is the state of happiness? So due mm -hmm. to this rasgulla, you feel happy mm -hmm. or you may feel happy, but can there be a continuity of this happiness? No, no. definitely not. This, this yes. is... <laughs> so it is a very short... <laughs> yes, so definitely it will be irritating. Yes, to a certain yes. limit. So this is number one. We are trying to get happiness from these physio physiochemical things. Ji. But we can explore in ourselves uh, will we be able to ensure this happiness from these physiochemical things you know? so mm -hmm. we have to find in ourselves what is the source of happiness my G. <clears throat> feelings feelings based on relationship harmony coexistence these G. are the source of my happiness or mm -hmm the sensations which we are trying to get from outside are the source of happiness. This uh, we have just to ask Go ourselves. Gopal ji, I would like to interrupt a little bit here. The question is this, the, on that statement, body is the source of happiness. No doubt it is It is not the source of happiness, but, but some of the happiness which self is getting, it is through body. Can we say like that since it is in coexistence? यही एग्जांपल अगर बॉडी नहीं होती तो मैं खाना खा ही नहीं सकता बॉडी अगर नहीं है तो मैं कुछ भी नहीं कर सकता सेल्फ कैन नॉट डू अलोन सो यू आर अ कॉन्शियस यूनिट बॉडी इज अ मटेरियल यूनिट जी जी सो मटेरियल इज अ नीड ऑफ बॉडी हैप्पीनेस इज नीड ऑफ योरस सेल्फ डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली सो इवन इफ देयर इज अ इवन इफ यू आर विद द बॉडी है ना so you are with the body this time Ji. but what is the source of your happiness your feelings your understanding or your sensations so suppose Definitely. you are not with the body mm -hmm. so is it possible even this time you can see mm -hmm. that my happiness depends on my understanding or the sensations outside you can observe. My understanding. Yeah, yeah. Understanding only. <laughs> that is the case. Okay. okay. I have to keep it open and I have to verify it. Yes. Ji, I will tell you. I will tell you. I will tell you. 
ठीक है ना सो योर हैप्पीनेस डिपेंड्स ऑन योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग नॉट ऑन या 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 डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली बट बट स्टिल बॉडी सम पार्ट इज देयर मींस हेल्पिंग फॉर कंप्लीटिंग दैट मींस व्हाट एवर दिस ईयर डू और एंजॉय व्हाट एवर वी आर कॉलिंग बट इट इज इट इज थ्रू बॉडी ऐसा मुझे लग रहा है थोड़ा देखते हैं आज दिन बॉडी इज हेल्पिंग अस टू एक्सप्रेस माय फीलिंग्स बॉडी इज हेल्पिंग अस to receive information from outside ji body is helping us to give information to others people ji ji but my happiness depends on my state of consciousness so if there is a Definitely. harmony in me i am happy ji if there is a contradiction in me i am not happy so body ji. exist with a specific role mm mm-hmm. and but if i don't know that specific role of body if i am not aware of my self then i Ji. start the, using this body as a source of happiness hmm hmm yeah 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 so if i am not aware of myself if i am not aware of my natural acceptance if i am not aware of this relationship harmony and coexistence and there is a gap in me then to fill this gap i start using this body as a source of happiness mm-hmm. but if i am fulfilled within myself with my understanding mm-hmm. with the understanding mm-hmm. of this relationship harmony and coexistence ji then i will not be using this body as a source of happiness then i will be using this body to participate in larger order ji ji hai na so ji, sometimes ji. Uh, which scenario you are describing that sometimes we try to drive happiness from sensation mm-hmm. you are trying to drive sense happiness from sensations or the body because there is a gap in me in my consciousness mm-hmm. what i am what i naturally want to be yeah 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 definitely. and if i am not able to fulfill this gap with my understanding understanding of this relationship <laughs> harmony and coexistence then i try to fulfill these gaps with the sensations mm. and and these methodologies to fulfill uh, to fill this gap from sensation will not work it yeah. may work for a short time but it it will not work in a continuity mm-hmm. so i am taking rasgulla and i am driving happiness because i am not aware of right sources of my happiness Gee. otherwise i take this rasgulla with awareness that it will work with the body only mm-hmm. my happiness doesn't depend on this rasgulla i am happy and taking rasgulla now my stomach is full now i will start using this body to participate in larger order <laughs> ji <laughs> okay okay fine thank you thank you yeah. जी जी भैया नमस्ते जी नमस्ते सभी को धन्यवाद नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते भैया या गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते नमस्ते भैया दैट्स आई वांट टू नो मोर अबाउट यस्टरडेस पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन व्हाट वी हैव डन रिलेटेड टू हु एम आई दैट इज आई एम नॉट द नोअर आई एम नॉट द वेकर आई एम नॉट द ड्रीमर आई एम नॉट द स्लीपर बट देयर इज समथिंग व्हिच इज थ्रोइंग लाइट ओवर इट व्हाट वी what it has been referred as turiya that's yesterday yes. the same question has been discussed mm. okay bhaiya so with the awareness you know this is step 1 to 4 if we are doing this step 1 to 4 so we can see that i am conscious unit i am not a body i am not a physical chemical things so earlier we think ourselves as a body now with this exercise we are aware that we are not a body then with little exploration you know we can also see that i am not a imagination also i can see my imagination i am with that potential that i can see my imagination but i am not imagine imagination also with little exploration we can also see that many sanskars are working at the base of my imagination and i am not that sanskar also i can see those sanskar 
I can reevaluate to a sanskar on the basis of my understanding. Then with little exploration, we can also see that I have a potential you know, if I am in a state of pure observer. So with the state of pure observer, I have a potential to my sanskar. I have a potential to see my imagination. I have a potential to see the interaction between the self and the body with awareness. This state of pure observer is referred to as Turiya that you were trying to ask yesterday. So Turiya is a state when I am a fully aware, I know I am a pure observer and with this state of pure observer, I can see my sanskar, I can see my imagination, I can see interaction between the self and the body. Now I can see each and everything which is happening with me when I am in a state of pure observer. And this state is also referred as Turiya. Yeah, that uh, means it is a pure observer you are referring it as a Turiya or whatever is referred as there. Is it Baya, right? right? Right, right. So in this state, now I am aware that I am not the body. I am aware that I am not the imagination. I am yeah. aware that I am not even this sanskar. I am aware that what is going on in me. So in that state, in that state of pure observer, I can see my sanskar without getting stuck into it. I can see my imagination without getting stuck into it. I can see the outer world also with clarity. So now I am observing my sanskar, my imagination, my interaction with outside world with full awareness. This state is a Turiya state. Ji yeah, yes, yes. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you. Okay. So there are four states which are described in our scriptures. And this is the fourth state. Turiya. Yeah. Where I am fully aware of my state. Fully aware of my sanskar, fully aware of my imagination, fully aware of my interaction. And with help of these exercises, we are trying to achieve that state. So these exercises 1 and 2 will help us to reach that state when I will be fully aware of each and every activity of my consciousness. And with this state, I will be aware what is going on in my imagination. I will be aware what instruction I am giving to the body. I will be aware what sensations are taking place in the body. I will be aware that I am see a doer and enjoyer. So these exercises will help us to reach that state. Right, Bhaiya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any indicators by a person having this, uh, uh, what you can say, under the pure state, observer state? And is it possible to achieve it? Yes. So we have this potential to achieve that state. But we have many sanskars due to which we are not able to that reach that state. That's why step by step we are trying to evaluate those sanskar, those assumptions. For example, one assumption is I am body and body is required for my happiness. This is one sanskar. Now, with this assumption, is this, it is difficult for us to reach that state. So, first we have to evaluate this sanskar. Is it true that body is source of my happiness or not? So, with awareness, we will be know, knowing that body is not a source of happiness. It is just an instrument. Then we will move towards uh, inside. So, as a potential, we all have this potential. We all are equipped with that potential that we can reach up to that state. But it is a matter of sanskar, matter of our assumptions, how deep our assumptions are. But as a possibility, there is a possibility for all of us. Next, in terms of indicators, if I am in a state of pure observer, then I will not get influenced from our sensation from outside environment. I will be aware what is happening in my imagination. I will interact with my body with full awareness. So this full awareness about myself, about interaction, about interaction outside will be an indicator of that 
to the state then i will be sure that my happiness lies within me not outside then there will be no dilemma so we will be clear about myself about this existence about my participation in this existence so this clarity is an indicator of that state is it okay bhaiya yeah yes bhaiya yes clear very clear bhaiya thank you okay bhaiya bhaiya good morning good morning bhaiya am i audible yes bhaiya very clear i want to ask one thing if happiness is independent of sensation and happiness only occur in consciousness means self then what is the use of uh, uh, this sensation so you are able to hear this uh, this session morning session because you have sensations so with the help of ear with the help of i you are able to receive this outside information and now yes. you are using this information for your growth so it is happening because of the sensation uh -huh. this is first use of my body second is i want to express myself so i have some information and i want to share this information with you and i am using my body to share information with you in that sense sensations are useful similarly i want to express my feeling feeling of care the feeling of guidance then i need a body to express my feelings i want mm -hmm. to participate in larger order i need sensation i need a body so body exists with a definite role so if i am happy with my understanding understanding of relationship harmony and coexistence mm -hmm. then i will be knowing the participation of my body so body exists with a definite role then i will be knowing that this body is not source of my happiness this body we have got for my growth of consciousness for the growth of my consciousness this body we have got to participate in larger order this body we have got to help others this is the use of the body and and it is useful in this process this is the medium perfectly right bhaiya correct yes so, so the correct lies with ha huh. yeah, so yeah, it is a medium to reach to the complete happiness right is yes. it right it, yes we may use it as an instrument to give uh, to take all the information about existence mm -hmm. this is the use of body and now it is up to me how much i will explore this information and to reach that to the state that bhaiya was addressing and you know? so to state of completeness i to reach the state of completeness i need information about this existence that's why we are using this body and once information is with us now we have to explore within myself now there is very less use of of this body so suppose you are getting few proposals so till you get proposals you need a body once you get all the proposals then you have to explore within yourself once you explore something once you are able to see this harmony coexistence and this under uh, relationship and with this understanding now you want to share this understanding with others then you will again use this body so in that mm -hmm. sense body is just an instrument to express myself to listen others and with this listening for the growth of myself correct bhaiya correct clear clear right bhaiya clear thank you bhaiya thank you very much okay so this is very important and discussion going on and it is important to see whether we are using my body as an instrument are we aware or we are using my body as a source of happiness so if i am aware i will be using my body as an instrument if i am not aware of myself i may use my body as a source of happiness 
राइट भैया राइट परफेक्ट थैंक यू भैया थैंक यू गोपाल जी भैया थैंक यू ओके भैया नमस्ते नमस्ते गम्बाली जी नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते टू ऑल माय भैया मैं हेडबल भैया क्लियरली यस यस भैया या इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद दैट डिस्कशन वेरी नाइस डिस्कशन एंड वेरी मच इंटरेस्टिंग व्हाट आई फील रिगार्डिंग दिस सेंसेशंस आर कंसीडर्ड दीज आर वी कैन वी टेक इट एज फर्स्ट मोड ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन बिकॉज़ इफ वी रिस्पॉन्ड आर वी फील uh respond give response to other uh, others uh, uh, whatever they are asking or interacting with others then uh, immediately we look into the uh, we have some sensations immediately then afterwards uh, we are going to uh, think uh, about that and we will uh, respond further uh yeah, suppose uh, and one more uh, uh, thought come into my mind regarding the sensations Uh, if we feel angry, then we are uh, because of sensations uh, we are feeling hungry, and we need to justify and give the proper food to the body and feel involved in those sensations. Then only this is right way to consume the food. If we thought something else and uh, consume the food, that is not right way. What generally says everybody. Uh, in that way, we need to use these sensations in the right way. uh that is the uh, role of the sensations uh, uh, and myself what i feel so the crux is whether i am happy with my understanding or not if yeah. i can ensure my happiness with my understanding then we will use body for the participation in larger order if i am not able to ensure my happiness with my understanding then i will start using this body either to get happiness from the sensation or to get happiness from the respect from the feeling of respect getting out uh, from others so many people you will see they get so involved in their work you know to get yeah. appreciation from others yes. that they start damaging their body yes. you know in the expectation of getting feeling from others yes so most of people are using their body either to get happiness from sensations or to get respect from others but both of these can be ensured with understanding in my consciousness understanding of relationship understanding of harmony understanding of coexistence so that's why exercise 1 is very important that's why seven steps of exercise 1 is very important in step 1 we have seen that the happiness and unhappiness is because of my decision if my decisions are based on the relationship harmony and coexistence yes. then it leads to my happiness yes and once i am assured that my happiness can be ensured with this understanding then what i will do with my body then i will start using my body to participate in larger order yes but exercise one we have not done properly and still we are not clear that what is the happiness source of happiness then we will start using this body to ensure my happiness sometimes in the form of sensations sometimes getting respect from others so this is a trap so we are now bound with body if we have not gone through the seven steps of exercise 1 but with seven steps of exercise 1 we can see my happiness lies with my understanding and if once i am happy then what we will do with my body i will ensure participation with the help of my body this will be the use of my body right we even the base of my Uh, actions are uh, all the uh, my uh, myself and the understanding or uh, I have the extent uh, right understanding I have and feeling I have. But uh, is it correct to say that the immediate mode of communication is uh, through sensations only? Is it correct? Then? Yeah, body is a instrument which we are yes. using to communicate with each other. So yes. you are happy with the understanding of this. relationship harmony and coexistence i am happy now 
we want to communicate with each other how yes. do we communicate we will use our body yes we both together want to make a, want to work for harmony of the society so we will use our body so we want to give right education and scar to children to facilitate them and in terms of harmony we will use our body so with my understanding i will use my body in a right manner with lack of an right understanding i will start misusing or overusing this body and many people you will see using their they are overusing their body to just mm. get respect or sensual pleasures so uh, responding or reacting means uh, we are responding to the others means we are using the right way of utilizing the body and uh, reacting means we are uh, uh, the uh, not the uh, right way we are using the body say last time we again last time was what i am saying is uh, uh, while we interact with others uh, we may mm. respond or react so mm. if we respond for all uh, such situations any type of expression or out from outside any type of situation mm. if we respond then it does mean we are rightly utilizing the body and mm. if we react means we are not appropriately utilizing the body am i correct right right okay so whenever we are in reaction either positive or negative yes inside my consciousness okay. i will not use this body properly yes when i am in a state of harmony i will right utilize my body with responses so it's all depends right. on uh, my understanding and uh, my feelings of relationship and all this of course it is uh, right. again come to the self yeah. right that's why we start we started with exercise 1 yes 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 you know that's okay. why step exercise 1 was very important for us main thoda zor se bolne ki koshish karu abhi aa rahi ओके okay, जी आप बोलिए भैया जैसे अभी डिस्कस कर रहे थे दैट वी आवर हैप्पीनेस इज नॉट डिपेंडेंट ऑन रिस्पेक्ट फ्रॉम अदर राइट सो बट इन नाइन फीलिंग्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रिस्पेक्ट फ्रॉम अदर दैट एवरी ह्यूमन बीइंग वांट्स रिस्पेक्ट फ्रॉम अदर देन इट सीम्स लाइक अ कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन सो हाउ कैन वी सी दिस Hello. See those nine feelings, है ना? We are desiring those nine nine feelings. These nine feelings are naturally acceptable to us. So what I am saying is, those nine feeling are naturally acceptable to us. So if we have right understanding, right understanding means understanding of relationship, understanding of harmony, understanding of coexistence. With that understanding. if i don't have this understanding then i will expect these feelings from others and when i expect these feeling of from others then there is a friction between me and other people if i am able to ensure these feeling within myself with my understanding then there is a no friction between me and other so if i have a showed feeling of trust in myself i have a showed feeling of respect in myself i have a short feeling of affection in myself then i will start with these feelings it doesn't matter whether other person is able to ensure trust respect or affection with me or not i have ensured with myself that's why i will start with these feelings so in level 1 or uhv2 workshop those nine feelings are that we read that are naturally acceptable to me and we have potential to ensure these feeling within myself but if we are not able to ensure these feelings then we start expecting from others and once we start expecting from others it creates problems in relationships this is what you must have heard in uhv2 didi okay bhaiya i got it. namaste bhaiya sabhi ko namaste didi bhaiya ab main observe kar rahi thi to मैंने देखा कि कुछ ऐसी फीलिंग्स होती हैं जो स्वाभाविक ही आ जाती हैं जैसे दिस सेशन इज गोइंग ऑन इन इंग्लिश या या सॉरी या ओके ओके सॉरी या सो मेनी टाइम्स आई ऑब्जर्व दैट देयर आर सम फीलिंग्स दैट आर देयर इनहेरेंटली या फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई एम इन अ नर्सरी एंड देयर आर मेनी फ्लावर्स देन आई फील हैप्पी 
and yesterday also i was there and i was observing where is this feeling so is this feeling in the self or is it in the body so but so there there was a little confusion yesterday so could you mm -hmm. please just say something about this bhia when i feel something so this is just one example many times we just feel good so when i am feeling good or when i am not feeling good without uh, much use of the sensations then this feeling is in the self whether feeling is in the self or it is in the body so what do you think what you have observed explored yeah. i thought it yesterday i thought that it is in the self and today and today also i think it is in the self but one thing that i noted today is that there is something that i feel in my stomach also so then i thought that it is in the body also like when i am feeling good there is something that i could feel inside my body also so i was confused whether it is in myself or it is in the body or it is at both the places so what is happening uh, in this case between self and the body is whenever i feel happy within myself or unhappy within myself hai na there is a possibility that my feelings affects my body also for example you are in excited phase you are in contradiction then it will impact your body also if you are not aware so suppose you have a fear in you in your consciousness then heart beat will get fast there will be problem of high blood flow so your feelings the state of consciousness because of feeling it impacts our body also so if you think something is good if you feel something good and if you feel something bad in both cases if you are not aware what is happening between the self and the body unconsciously it impacts my body also so if you have a contradictory thoughts then you may feel headache if you have a contradictory feeling you may feel heart problem so whatever effect you are reading in the body is basically impact of your feeling of consciousness that's why this is step 1 of step 1 and 2 of this exercise 2 is very important yes am i aware what is happening in me and what is happening in my body so basically what is happening happening i am feeling good or bad it is state of my consciousness now i am not aware that i am giving many instruction to the body that's why impact is also seen at your the level of your body also that's why you are confused whether it is in the self or in the body so feelings are in the self but it if i am not aware it impacts our body also and it is happening with my decision yes if i know that there is a transaction of information only then i will decide whether to instruct my body or not it is happening in me let resolve within myself why we are giving instruction to the body but immediately we start giving instruction to the body so you will see when you are comfortable inside you will start giving instruction to the body also you will start roaming here and there you will start moving your hand your body will also be in excited phase all these things will start happening and it is happening because you are giving instruction yes. so that's why this is step 1 and 2 is very important you know, that yes. i am seer i am doer i am enjoyer so i will involve my body whenever i will think it is important to involve with unawareness i keep involving my body yes this awareness is very important here yeah. right. i lose it sometimes <laughs> right if i am you, feeling yeah. good it is yeah. okay if i am feeling bad then resolve we can resolve this issue with my understanding why yes. to use my body in both the cases see that's yes. why there is a many diseases in the body most of the diseases are psychosomatic we have a problem in my feeling we have a problem in our thoughts but unnecessarily we involve my body 
that's why there are many diseases these are psychosomatic problem is in the cell but body is also suffering right didi yes yes bhaiya yeah. and many times i lose awareness i am trying but i have observed this thing that after the incident happens then i am aware so i want to be aware at that moment when it is happening most of the times i yeah. have observed that i am aware after it has happened right so it is a reactive state yeah active active state is i am observing when it is happening yeah. yes most of the times i am there but many times it happens that i am there after it has happened right thank you thank you bhaiya so keep practicing keep practicing ji ji bhaiya i yeah i am keep practicing ji ji bhaiya i yeah i am practicing yeah thank you thank mm -hmm. you so much okay didi so time is over now so i request